in progress. So for businesses, uh, they are always, you know, it's a, income elasticity is important for them too because they want to predict how levels of income will change over time. Because if level of income changes, it's going to affect what they sell too. If income level increases, disposable income will increase. If income level falls, disposable income will fall. So businesses, they want to, it's important to them too. They want to get information about this thing. They are interested to know how income is going to increase or fall over time. Do you understand the point they are making there? Okay. So that's about, so the last paragraph. Also, firms that produce goods that are income in elastic. So, well, basically, let me just put it this way for you. For it's income elastic, it's income in elastic. So if, you're, if you put out, you sell are normal goods, that means as soon as income level increases, they will buy more of your goods. Mm -hmm. So you only produce those goods when you're predicted or when you understand that the level of income is going to increase in the economy. But if the product you sell is income, is income elastic, if it is income elastic, then it means a fall in income would reduce the, fall, uh, reduce the, quantity, the, the quantity demanded. A rise in income will increase the quantity demanded. But if it is income inelastic, whatever happens to it, people would buy. Do you understand? Yeah. Is it clear, please? Yeah. Okay, then we'll move on. So we'll go to price diversity and the government. Are you there? Government often weighs revenue by imposing indirect taxes such as value added tax and excise duty on products. It is important for government to select products that have inelastic demand. This is because consumers will avoid heavily taxed products if demand for them are, is elastic. Therefore, government targets goods that are either necessities or have few substitutes. However, most governments do not target goods such as food and water, which are essential to human survival. Popular targets for governments when imposing taxes are cigarettes, alcohol, and petrol. Demand for these products is very price inelastic. So for government, government takes decisions too. But if government has to take decisions, government will not take decisions on products that are price elastic. They won't. They won't take decisions about products that are price elastic or products that are necessities. Because these, these products, whatever happens, people will tend to buy them. So if it is price elastic, if, if it's a product that is price, oh, sorry, Product that is priced inelastic, government will take taxes on them because these products, no matter what happens to them, people would buy. But most of the time, government will take government will charge taxes on these products because they are mostly demerit goods. Do you get the point here? If the product is priced inelastic and it is not a necessity, it's priced elastic or priced inelastic and it's not a necessity, government will ta charge taxes on them. Like. Cigarettes, alcohol, tobacco, okay. petrol. Yeah, it's for if you have a car, you can't you can't be poor and have a car. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So no matter what the price of fuel, the pump price is, those that have cars will still buy. Mm -hmm. So it is price inelastic. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So for these goods, government could increase taxes. That's why government of countries takes away subsidy from example from petrol. Because they know it's for the rich. It's not food. It's not water. It's not electricity. It's transport. It's transport, yes. But it's for those who are rich. Who, who have money. Who can. Who can spend Do you understand? Yeah. So that's what they are trying to let us know here. So government will take decisions. But before government takes decisions, government has to understand mm -hmm. how elastic and inelastic the goods that they want to, ta they want to tax on is are. Do you understand? That's the government decision about. So if government is charging tax, government will not ta take taxes on goods that are price elastic. Because those goods, the price, as soon as the price increases, consumers will stop buying. So if they stop buying, how will government make revenue from them? Do you understand? Yeah. So goods that are price elastic, you cannot, government wouldn't try to put or increase taxes on them. But goods that are inelastic and are not necessities, Government will take taxes on them. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. So we'll go to subsidies. So for subsidies, government might also consider PED when granting a subsidy to producers. The effect of a subsidy is to move the supply curve to the right. So I told you earlier, I said government will take taxes, will, will increase taxes on goods that they feel it, they are demerit goods or goods that are for the rich so that the, the demand 
or the supply, or so that the demand will reduce. Yeah. Do you get it? So, same goes to subsidies. Government wants to, when government gives subsidies, government is a financial help from government. So if government is giving subsidy, government is doing that to increase the productive capacity of the economy. So the government wants to increase output. Yeah. So to encourage output, to increase output, government must help financially. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So that is the point they are making there. So government will consider price elasticity of demand whenever they want to grant subsidy. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. So they said, here they said, if, if the subsidy is designed to help the poor by making the good cheaper, it is important that, that demand is priced in elastic. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. For example, necessities like food, clothing, water, electricity. Mm -hmm. They are 